Hello, good morning, and welcome to another episode of White Details. It's the end of a busy week. Two pretty special vehicles, colourful vehicles. A racing yellow Porsche 991.2 Targa 4S and the flame orange Bentley GTC. Both vehicles have received some form of treatments this week and both will also feature on YouTube. This obviously is the Porsche episode, but the Bentley, there's a change in circumstance there. The video will end pretty abruptly. More on that in the episode. So just to let you know, at the end of this episode, there is going to be information on how to win a giveaway for a random prize draw for Enzo Car Care. So more information later in this episode. With that said, sit back, stick the kettle on, crack a beer, pour a glass of wine. Enjoy. Hundreds of tiny, stubborn little bits of contamination on this, and with it being a flat, bold, flat, bright colour, every single single one stands out like a sore thumb. I've been claying so far for 40 minutes, and I've still got this side to do with the bonnet and the bumpers. As an example, if you can see, tiny little black speck underneath there. Been over that a good few times already. Nearly gone. 
Another example on the wing mirror, these little tiny specks. Oh, that one's pretty easy to shift. A few test polishing spots have been on this top deck already going fine. I'm about to work across the back shelf here. Now look at the paint. There are abrasions or chafe marks where the paint is actually missing. So this black, gloss black, third brake light, sorry, third brake light. Um, I've seen it on a few cars in the past, Land Rover. Uh, Range Rover Vogue, so there's a thing on the bonnet, very similar, where it just takes the edge of the paint away. Both sides, so this probably will be news to the clients, uh, which I'll have to break to them. Something to be careful of. So this is an area that has been cut, it's looking good, a minor correction. On a whole, the car isn't terrible. You can see the light marring swirling going on here. This is the general sort of condition on the entire car. There is obviously a lot of room for improvement here. It's quite a forgiving color. It's quite a difficult color to capture the defects on camera. But as we go onto the rear deck, this has been cut and responded very well. This sort of haze, this damage detracts from the overall gloss, the clarity of the finish when this is done, when it's coated and finished, it's going to look extremely sharp. That should just be one solid yellow clarity color without the white haze, the connected light, which is light refracting off the defects. When I'm down here, I was able to see, switch into manual focus now, see a couple of etchings that run. There's two drip lines. It's pretty difficult to see and it's very difficult to photograph actually. But I think you can just about make out the lines down here. I need to revisit that. Anyway, it starts at the very top. That's more obvious. Um, one of the reasons, because it's obvious, it's because someone somewhere has been hacking that 
trying to reduce it down, whatever the etching is, you can see the scratching that's been induced in the process of attempting to remove rubbing, wiping of a dirty cloth or whatever. So, yeah, something's definitely happened here. But the wing, under the light, pretty easy minor paint correction. After one pass of the cutting, it's <coughs> excuse me, heavily improved. It's in here too. Need to try and get that uh, finger polish that. But I think the very top of the handle, yeah, it's not quite cleaned that bit up. But certainly the higher sections are looking better. So now I'm going to run the peripheral of the handle, the edge of the handle there with the hybrid. That will clear the scratching. Wonder what that's been caused by. It's a really odd etch. It's dripped, it continues. There we go, look, you can see it more. I'm gonna to have to hit that again and then get the hybrid down the back of the handle. And we can start the offside of wing. Before, after, as soon as the, <laughs> as soon as the camera loses the defects, it hasn't got anything to focus on. So it's fine. It's happy there. It's an autofocus. Great. I can see sharpness. I can see something in the way of detail, i.e., the swirls and the abrasions. But as soon as we go on the corrected surface, we go over. Oh, it's doing all right, it's doing all right. Oh, it's done okay there, but yeah. It's a lovely colorful week this week. Miserable wet outside, but. Through to one side we have a little orange. When you're doing the decontamination stage and the tar removal, unlike me, don't forget to do the light lenses because there is a tiny little clump of tar. See that? Tar deposit. Uh, obviously the yellow and the tar stands out very much so when it's on the yellow bodywork, but obviously I didn't go over light clusters. Uh, that would pull off with the polisher using the hybrid, but the danger is then the pad is then contaminated with the tar and you're likely to induce, induce damage as you go. 
just been polishing this lower ledge. You can see it's all cut up, that needs refining. The light lenses often are susceptible to damage being induced, especially from the hybrid. So they'll be refined, but compared to the near side, you can see the damage that I have lifted out. Hazing present. This stuff, the primer, new subscriber, welcome, is like liquid magic, it's fascinating. But, but this is a non-abrasive, it's more of a glaze, it's a primer, it's a cleanser to prep the paint, to stay there ready for the ghost and to go on top. You have to use this before Modesta BCO4 in this case. You can glaze with it, you can do it by hand, or you can treat it as a refining step, however, the damage I've left on the flat black paint from the cutting, it needs a little bit more than this to fix the damage that's left behind. So unfortunately, yes, it would be nice to save the timings to be able to go cut primer, but in this instance, on the Targa, I'm going cut, refine, primer. But there will be instances in the future, in fact, last week I had a silver, a GT Silver 992 Carrera, which had Modesta BCO4, and that was used, primer was used as a refining. Right, so sensor of the door with the five inch, you can just see it's a bit broken there, it's a bit hazy. Primer would help, but it also will mask. So I want to make sure that this is properly refined, it's properly sharp with the proper clarity before primer goes down. Quite a nice example of that. Micromarin induced from the microfiber cutting pad. Uh, it's fast approaching one o'clock. So by four, half past four, I should have it refined and then I can glaze it literally once over with primer, which will then set overnight ready for coatings first thing tomorrow. yellow pads and their 9000 final cut polish. It's looking very sharp. Now normally, normally that will be it. That will be me now moving on to the surface preparation for coatings directly on top of that sort of uh, refined naked finish. But the Modesta system, as I say, requires primer to go down. And it is amazing, to be honest, it is amazing what the primer does. It is amazing what the primer adds to the finish. It really does step up the gloss levels that extra notch. So I'm gonna get that done tonight before I finish. That's a glazed slash hand application. You can, as I said, use it as a refining set, get it to temperature, work it like a refining polish to get more out of it. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna strip it all down, lower it, IPA the whole body work, treat the fabric before I start the primer, and then do the primer, and that should take me through till about 7 p.m.
just finishing up for the day. It's quarter past seven, end of day two, Tuesday. The refining and priming has been made. Glazed, prepped, ready for BCO4. In the morning. Another strong result for a minor correction. Time to take a look at the interior. I'm actually doing the interior first, <coughs> the hoovering, the blowing, the air. Because usually there's an amount of lint and fluff that lands in the bodywork, which you don't want to coat the car now for that to then settle. I want to do that all, clear the lint up, coat the car, do the wheels, do the leather protection, and the uh, less messy jobs. Later. The first glance, the interior is pretty tidy. However, you start to investigate. <laughs> the entire thing has been, I know this much that the car has been to the car wash, the roadside 10 pound wash and stretch. And everything's greasy. Everything's got a film of horrible, no, it's not very nice. Look at the leather, it's disgusting. And that's evident here. You can see where they've, there was a tide mark of dressing. It's disgusting. The finish should be like that at the back, not this dark, horrible, patchy, greasy. So it's been pushed all over the leather, all over the plastics. Ugh. So what I've done so far is starting to vac this side. And on the passenger seat, And you see there is something, spillage of some sort here, some luminous fluorescent liquid. So see if we can get that out. It's not very nice, actually. Not very nice at all. Uh, pretty grubby steering wheel, makeup. One thing I am looking forward to though, it's quite a satisfying job, is pushing all these bits through the uh, perforated leather holes. That can be a job for the very end. Don't know about you, but that's a much nicer finish now. It's a factory finish over exposing the camera. And it's taking some doing. This is some of the rinse water from pretty much just half the plastics so far. This is all drying out still. That side still needs doing. You can see how smudgy and streaky and greasy it is here. What am I here for? Uh, sit down. Sun visor, makeup foundation. On the plastics here, and I will probably do a 50 50 on the wheel. So, this is before condition. I might just do half of it and see if you can see on the camera which is the clean side. 10 minutes later, can you see which side of the wheel? It's hard for me to do this because I'm so close. Hopefully, so <coughs> dirty. Clean. It's a much nicer matte finish now. That's just with damp microfiber towel and G-Technics T1 tri -clean. I2 tri -clean. As good as the textured magic sponges are, they do have limitations and you do need to be careful with where they are used. I did use them on some of the door card areas, just going over the door card with the cloth. It wasn't fully taking the residue and the coating, the dressing off. A very, very light once over with the sponge. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just literally the weight of my fingertips and the sponge to take the dressing off. Didn't need to use it on the wheel and I probably wouldn't want to anyway. And similar, uh, the leather, try and avoid doing so on the leather. All this is looking a lot better so far. 
sun visor. There's a secret button back here. Don't know what it does. I bought the car back uh, an hour's journey. I drove this back myself, ready for the detail, and I found that I was like, what do you do? Sometime later, the interior is looking a lot better. It's fresh, it's matte, it's clean. All of these shiny bits, this all needs doing. Still, that's got a, a smear and smudge all over it. The rubbers up here were looking a bit dry for the Targa roof section, so they've been treated to 303 rubber seal. The leather, fully deep cleansed, treated to L1 leather guard. It needs a final vac. Looking a lot less streaky and tacky. Smears. The dials are all smudged and smushy, ready for cleaning when the glass is being done. If you want to use an interior dressing, my recommendation at the minute is Enzo Core. I've been very impressed with that. As you can see, a lovely, nice satin. Anti-static UV protected finish. The dressing. Shut up. Hey, that's very much improved as well. I don't think it's 100% perfect. I daren't take things too far. I still need to wipe over this for fear of actually damaging the leather. Whatever it is, it's bleached into the leather itself. Right, time for coatings. Finally, interiors there and thereabouts. Um, Modesta BCO4 is a complete different sort of application method to what I'm previously used to, uh, and because primer went down last night, nothing else wants to be now on the surface other than BCO4. It's primed, it's ready, it's prepped. So if I were to use Geon Prep or an IPA at this point, it sort of interferes with the system that's there already before it receives the coating. But I'm a big believer of residue control and sort of working clean. I don't want, I don't want to have any contaminants on the surface now before I go on to the coatings. I've just been doing the interior, the airline, the hoover, rubbing, scrubbing, wiping, stuff's up in the air, the surface may have a very, very fine film. All I can do is distilled, distilled water over the surface. This will be used during the application of BCO4 anyway, we'll come onto that, it's all very bizarre. So distilled water, wipe down, wipe on, wipe off, in readiness for the coating. Tower 1, Tower 2, Tower 3. Tower 1 needs to be saturated. And when I say saturated, you could almost dunk it in a bucket of water, saturated. Again, distilled water. Alright, pretty heavy. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Now the bottle of the BCO4 is one bottle per car. So once that lid, once that seal is cracked, that's it, you're on, game on. One bottle per car, there is a hashtag. 
use the whole bottle. Let's see. Bissier four. Cracked. It's a foam pad applicator as opposed to the block and suede. And one thing you don't want to do is get water on the pipette back into the bottle because water is the catalyst, water is the chemical reaction for the coat to set to bond to the paint, which is why we're using it. We're going to apply it wet. If you get water in the bottle, the bottle's to put. So before I do anything there, I'm going to do this rear deck, spoiler, rear deck across. Nicely drizzled. Okay. Overlapping passes. Okay. Coating's now starting to do its thing. Introducing the water can be a tricky one, it just means you've got to be really sharp with your efficiency, where you're buffing to, any drips, contamination. Uh. Couple more minutes. All right. Quick excess removal from the main. That's one. Wet one. Number two is dry. Both in third, then you've actually wiped for the first one. First, the dry buffs. The second dry buff isn't actually a manufacturer recommendation, but it's a June White recommendation. June White being June White, I'd rather just double up and double check. BCO4 application on that, 40 minutes. Uh, it's worth saying at this point, I haven't mentioned this already, but this system is only something that's available through the Modesta network for, by the certified Modesta installers that are across the globe.
is the applicator part after doing the calipers. Listen. You can hear how crispy it's got now. So that goes in the bin. Another part of the process which is different, uh, you've probably seen it lurking in the background, is the infrared curing lamps. So the coating needs baking to the paint, or it needs curing, infrared curing lamps, digital thermometer to be able to uh, check temperature of the paint. Currently 33. My plan is to bring every area of the yellow paint, every coated area of the car, bring it up to 60 for 12 minutes to set, to bake. Last little bit of curing now is the roll bar section, the Targa silver satin section, although that wasn't obviously polished. It did have the primer applied, which is a non-abrasive. Busy for on the curing. There is some serious depth, some serious gloss, and lovely reflection going on. Hopefully, get a chance to see this outside. Forecast for the next couple of days is pretty miserable. But the inside rear wheel is going for refurbishment, so actually the car is going to be tripoding next door through to one side where the Bentley is, whilst the Bentley comes through here onto the ramp, and then we get the wheel back. And then hopefully by then, the sun may shine. All right, the final detail on the Porsche. Silver center caps, silver valves on black wheels. That's not the one. These ones, by the way, if you're new to the channel, the red and the blue, these are for me to identify near side rear, off side rear, near side front, off side front. Just so the wheels don't get mixed up whilst they're off the car. You may think this looks Fantastic already, and hey, let's be honest, it does. 72,300 subscribers, 29,292 followers on Instagram. But similar to Aston Martin, Bentley are flatted there, sanded at the factory to reduce orange peel. And in the tight, intricate areas, obviously it's not been washed yet, sander marks there. Sanding marks there. Heavy corners with more. Sander marks, faster marks. As always, massive room for improvement. Um, the Porsche episode, what I've filmed thus far, today is Wednesday, late afternoon now. I filmed quite a lot. This episode is meant to be quite short, quite snippy, snappy. Two awesome cars, two awesome colors, one awesome coating system, Modesta, an introduction video to Modesta. Uh, so the Bentley really, I'm gonna have to cut short the footage for this. But let's get it washed, let's get it indoor, inspect the paint properly. It's a minor correction, so cut to refine, primer, BCO4, same process. Don't know what I'm doing now. Although work started on the Bentley, if you follow White Details on Instagram, you may have seen an update where I announced that actually work was cut short. There was something, I found something that it didn't allow for the job to continue. There was no point in me doing my part because reasons you will find out more in the Bentley episode. 
So a day and a half was spent on the Bentley. I had the wheel return from refurbishment from PB powder coatings for the Porsche, another excellent job. One or two final details, and we can start to look at the after footage. Back to Enzo, mentioned about this at the start of the video. All you need to do to be within a chance of winning the prize is five products of your own choice. All you need to do to be within a chance of winning into the prize draw is to buy one Enzo product on Enzo UK website with discount code WD10. All of the WD10 purchases will go into a prize draw, chosen at random, picked at random at the end of September, and the winner then gets choice of five which could be up to a value of £100. You might want to stock up on the one shampoo. You might want to get the snow foam. You might want to try the wheel tyre cleaner and tyre dressing combination. The choice is yours. All the information can be found in the text below the video. So it's been a nice colourful week for me, the Porsche and the Bentley, unfortunately, half a job, less than half a job on that. That will be back in good time, I'm sure. Make sure you stay up to date with the latest on White Detail's Instagram page for behind the scenes and constant daily insights. Next week, for me, there is something completely different. It's my first you to me. So I'm going to another detailer to shadow them, to work behind them, to work with them, to use the camera to make a vlog of the behind the scenes operation. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not already and like the video. See you next time.